how to take Instagram photos at home uh, you can just use your iPhone or whatever phone you have and if you need extra help you can just use like ring lights um, a lot of times I just use like natural like sunlight I think during daytime it's super bright if your place is not bright enough you can just use those kind of ring lights or other ring light um, also you can have this stuff timer or tripods it come together this one um, it's like I got at broke stone so if you don't have those just use a self timer on the phone works just fine so without further ado let's just get it started by the way another two things I like to use one is this big ring light another is this tripod both can adjust the height okay for OOTD today is the all white vibes right now because I feel like summertime I like a very clean look so this top is from Pretty Little Thing um, and the shorts from Giddy Hicks and my kicks is from Fila so I just want like an all white um, since right now it's almost summer just you guys may wonder why I'm just wearing shorts right now here in May because it's 90 degree here in Los Angeles um, second thing I like to do is make sure the background is clean like those kind of stuff you don't need it you just put them away and let's start our shoot so I'm gonna start in the kitchen because right now it's like a perfect sunlight or it's like window right here you can see the sunlight just coming in here um, so I don't need any extra like ring light um, so another thing is like you can use props like you can use cereal or this <laughs> I don't know anyway so um, just what other props you want to use I think if you have props make it look more natural so we're gonna start doing our first set of photo well I decided to climb on the kitchen counter for the first shot because um, I thought maybe this is like easier to get to see the whole outfits um, so I'm just kind of trying to different pose and to see which one works um, you always got to check the photo make sure it's not too awkward so I don't like that photo I decided to redo this again it's okay when you take photos at home you can always do this over and over so hopefully this time we're we'll making it work um, well, so you can always just take multiple photos and try different poses. Just be adventurous. That's another than taking photo at home. Okay, let's check again to see how the photo turns out. Mm, I don't like it, so I'm gonna do the third time. Guess the third time is a charm. So I'm just gonna go for this time. Just kind of relax. Okay, I think I got the photo. Yeah. So if I got a one good photo, that's good. We can move on to the next one. Okay, for our second spot, I'm just finding this plain white wall. Um, sometimes the symbol is the best. Oh, by the way, this is also the top from Pretty Little Thing. Uh, it's like one shoulder. Since we want to show this, it's a one shoulder look, so I decided to put my hair as like a ponytail. And then um, I can also use like. Um, Kind of like chair, you can sit down the chair. So for this one, I think we just want to do a close up so it shows us like outfits, like one shoulder look. And you can put the chair against the wall, and let's do it. Okay. Oh, well, this photo didn't work. Okay, so I found this spot, like it's super cool, and um, on the chair. So we're just gonna try to find our perfect angle. One cool thing about this chair is you can always adjust the height of the chair instead of just the height of the tripod. Um, otherwise, I mean, it's okay. So if this spot doesn't work out, we can always move on to the next one. So I like to clean up just in case this will be in the background because you always want to make sure the background is clean and neat just in case you get this in the next shot. 
Okay, the last spa didn't really work out. I think the lighting was pretty bad. Um, sometimes you just have to take a hundred photos, find one good one. I decided to just switch to where I was because like that spot you cannot see the outfits. Um, like this super pretty top from pretty little thing needs to be seen in the photo. <laughs> so I decided to just kind of switch so we can see the outfits. We want to take some other photos just right by here. And then I found some new props, this cup is super pretty. I think it's kind of like good contrast with this white shirt. Um, so hopefully this time it's gonna work out. So sometimes just don't stress out if you didn't work out at one spot, just move on to the next spot. All right, so let's do some other photos here. So you can just hold the cup, and I want to show like this is one shoulder. Another cool thing taking photo at home is you can always discover some hidden, like a hidden spot or be some cool photo spot. I discovered this, like. Okay, so I decided to move to this back of the fridge because I feel like it's more clean. So I just cleaned up all this mess. So hopefully this photo will look better. <laughs> So one thing about taking photos like at home by yourself is like no one is judging you. So you can take as many photos as you want. If you find the pose is not right, just switch to different pose. I mean, you can always just take your time, do whatever you like. Just find the, your best angle. A lot of times like people feel like, oh, some of their photos thinner or some photo looks bigger. I think it's all about the angle. A lot of times find your best angle and it's very important. Anyway, I decided to change my hairstyle a little bit because I feel like my hair looks kind of bad there. So I decided to do this kind of like beach wave. That's the way I do it. It's super easy. It takes two seconds. It looks more natural and um, it's just kind of like very lazy look and then you can pose just feel like you know more relaxed taking photo at home i just feel like there's no pressure take your time um, change your hairstyle change your pose and uh, if you feel, feel your hair is flat again just do this this is my easy trick you can get your hair it looks kind of like just a um, very kind of vaguely look and um, yeah, so maybe just um, like see your photo from the the phone. You can see like what pose looks better. Just keep changing pose, keep clicking. I mean, you can take a hundred photo. Doesn't matter if you don't like it. Just delete them. So don't worry about it. It's like no pressure. And um, so if you don't like the pose, delete them. If you like the pose, just take a couple more. Make sure like you know. That's a photo you really like, and then you can move on to the next one. Whoops, and I realized I need to do a little bit of touch up, so I just kind of did a little bit more makeup on me. So make sure like you still look fresh. It's been like almost like two hours, but I, I don't know. The first couple shots, it's always hard to do it. So once you find the groovy, so you can just get it going pretty fast. So like, you know, um, there is always time when you take a photo at home. So just uh, take your time. Don't worry about it. Don't rush. And I think I may find some of my favorite photo. I kind of like this angle because it looks very unique and artsy here. You would not tell if what you're taking at home. So that's kind of cool thing about taking photo at home, right? Another thing, uh, when you use natural lighting, taking photos at home, you can see the lighting constant change. So I just realized um, the lighting kind of changed a little bit by the counter. Seems gets better. So I'm just come back here, take a couple more photos. I think lighting is super important for the photos since I'm not using my ring light or anything. So I'm also going to pick up some props, which one is better. So. Uh, let's go and try it out. You can always use different props, 
pose to see which photos looks better. I really think add props in the photo will make it look more natural. Especially sometimes you don't know where you should put your hands. If you have props and make taking photo way easier. So I'm gonna use this red cup. Take a couple more photos. Um, Sometimes you may feel a bit awkward, you don't know how to pose. You just kind of move your body, find your angle, and then just keep moving and keep snapping the photo to see which like pose make you look better, or which pose make you look more comfortable and natural. So you can always delete the photo you don't like. Just take a bunch of them. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to living room. Uh, you can see the lighting here, it's pretty bad. It's just gonna like move around. Find the best lighting. So lighting here is a bit better by this fireplace. So like lighting is like everything. So if you don't want to use the ring light, just use the natural lighting. It like looks better. Um, of course, the best lighting is golden hour. So later on, we're gonna move on to the backyard, do our higher shots we're gonna just wait till like golden hour but right now it's pretty good so this is into it okay after we found the best nighting spot and then just make sure the background is right you can always adjust the camera's angle and then this background uh, seems a little bit too busy I'm still kind of testing to see how it looks like um, a lot of times you use the back of the i back camera of the iphone takes better photo but it, like you know it's just hard to see so i still use a front camera so i can see what it looks like um, looks like the background seems a little bit too busy at the here so i don't think i got any good photos then i decide to grab another prop so i think maybe this one bottle adds a little bit more essence of the photo so we're gonna take some photo by the fireplace just in case you feel awkward you can always just hold any props and um, maybe like just move your body and different angle or like you know touch your hair so we'll make your body looks more natural instead of just standing there um, what a ever make you feel like a natural and comfortable just do it you know so for me i always like you know just play with your hair or like just twist your body a little bit instead of just standing straight because you don't know you never know which angle or which lights may hit on your face or spot make it looks better basically just keep moving and find the best angle of your body and then I decided coming to the hallway because I think um, sometimes the hallway gives you that very artsy look. Um, the lighting here is a little bit dark, but you can always just uh, play around, just try to walk to different direction because you never know. Maybe the light may hit on your face from the window. Um, just play around it. Just have fun basically i think right now it's better because when you come a little bit closer um, to the camera sometimes you can turn down the flash during daytime i ten tend to just use natural lighting because i feel sometimes the flash make your skin looks kind of weird there then i decided to come back to the same spot this time i got another new prop like a book book is such a good prop um, this is kind of the aesthetic I'm going for. Um, it's super relaxing and like early morning, the sunlight right coming through the window. So I think I got the photo out of the living room. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm just gonna move on to the next spot. Okay, the another amazing spot I can take an Instagram photo would be the bathroom. You can always take so many creative photos here like you can do makeup also you can like use a bathtub so whatever you like just getting creative so we can take some great photos here in your bathroom so I'm kind of trying to find the best like lighting spot um, like I'm kind of just move the camera from different angle 
and um, you can see the lighting is changing right from different directions so I think I'm just gonna put a camera set up here because the light is right on the face I don't want to use rain lights because I feel like I like this kind of golden warm light in the bathroom so um, yeah I'm gonna stay for this spot I've seen lots of people take amazing like mural photos makeup photos of course there's one problem I just realized I can see my tripod so I need to fix this all right so maybe I'm gonna move the camera around here so then I won't see my like tripod so all right let's do it okay this is the angle I decide to take the photos because I feel like the lighting the best um, so I'm just going to use like my lip gloss and just like kind of like this kind of lazy getting ready kind of look pretending I'm like applying my lipstick and then another thing I like to do is when I take photos like this I like to use like a poetry mode because that kind of blur out the background and looks very dreamy um, especially for those bathroom stuff like bathroom selfie type of look bring out that cinematic kind of look so I'm trying to take some photos like I'm looking into a mural but it turns out the photo is like way too blurry because um, I've seen some photos like on magazine looks amazing I guess you need like special camera to bring out that effect so I'm just gonna move on to the next one we're gonna use our bathtub as our background okay so here's the bathtub and i got like one class um make sure like i have some props just like you know less awkward <laughs> um i'm thinking just kind of like relax i kind of like a very chill kind of look it's like you're know, having a bubble bath and um, have a glass of wine super relaxing that's kind of like our uh, quarantine lifestyle is like right wine and bath so that's pretty much kind of like a look I'm going for and I'm gonna see how it long turns out all right let's do it so for this look I'm just gonna go for a super relaxing and lazy look the lighting isn't great right now but I think it's kind of match the theme sometimes you don't have to be super bright uh, I don't know I kind of like this kind of a little bit hazy look in the bathroom anyway so I think we got the photo okay guys so that's pretty much like how I take Instagram photos at home and uh, let me know if you guys want me to do another video how I'm editing my Instagram photos and what apps I'm using and I hope you guys stay healthy, stay well at home and love you guys.